Hey everybody out there, back here again. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little video of uh, showing how to rewrap these batteries. You know, how simple it is in a, in a quick fix from a, what I'm seeing is I guess a common problem. That this thing's all torn up, okay? Now, I'll show real quick. This uh, this is one of the newest mod I just finished. I was working on. This is a Hammond 15... 90G, I believe. Alright, I had it powder coated. Alright, got a DNA 40. Alright, and these keystone trays, or any of these battery trays that have these uh, sort of, you know, tabs in there, right? They, it just constantly, you know, you put your batteries in and it just, it pulls your wrapper. You know, it gets stuck and it just rips. You know, rips the wrapper, and it just becomes a major pain in the butt. All right. So, what I got here, I got these off of eBay. I got like 20 of them for five bucks. All right. And this is uh, heat shrink already cut down. You know, for the size of an 18650. So I'll show you real quick what I do. All right. First thing, oops, drop and stuff. Just cut off this original wrapper. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, pull that pull that wrapping right off of there. All right. See you later to that. Now, you see this little, you know, I guess the insulator, you want to keep a hold of that. I like to keep that on there, just keep everything, everything the same. All right, so what I do, okay, open this up, stick the battery in, all right, and I put it flat on the table. So what the trick is here is to stop the wrapping, you know, nice, pretty much flush, just a, you know, just a tad proud there, you know, stop it flush. So now, every time you go to pull it out, you pull it out through the negative side, and whoop, nothing gets stuck. You know, it comes right out. And this tends to work great. So what we're going to have to do is just trim a little bit of this. So I like to get an idea, you know, how much I want to trim back to keep it, you know, keep it off the positive pin there. So, you know, like a quarter of an inch looks like there. I'm going to take off. So pull out the battery. All right, take some scissors. All right, and we're going to take off, uh, let's say, about a quarter inch. Okay. So we'll slide it down. And that'll do. That looks just about perfect. Okay, so we'll take our little insulator, stick that back in the top. Now this stuff here, all it is is heat shrink. So now all you want to do is heat it up nice and even. Now I, I'm going to use this, uh, it's a Breezomatic torch. All right, it's just a regular, regular torch, and it came with this piece here. All right. Now this is good, two purposes. It has a little tip on there and you could solder. Or you take the tip off and it becomes like a heat gun. Alright, you could use a heat gun, a hair dryer, anything that's going to blow some hot heat. Alright, I'm just going to warm it up. Okay. I'm just going to let that heat up for a couple seconds. In the meantime, we'll go back to this guy and show you this. So like I said, this was a 1590G box, alright, uh, I got it in, I drilled a couple holes for the little tactile switches, I cut out the little hole for the um, screen mount, get from Shapeways 3D printed, um, you can also get, you know, nice USB, um, nice USB mounts, I got one on here, okay, I got that a little later. Okay, it cleans it up a lot better, but this one was done a little bit earlier, so I had the, you know, a little hole there for the USB charger. All right, 510, Fat Daddy 510. This is the small connector. 
Alright, you can see inside. Like I said, I just finished this guy up. Pretty cool. I like it. Good size. Alright, and then uh, to hold the door on, just got uh, actually just one short, one magnet short, so I got to get another one. But uh, these are a quarter inch around by one eighth inch thick. Three. You know, drill out the hole a little bit, epoxy them in. And then I got some magnets on the inside. These are one eighth around by a quarter inch uh, deep. So it works pretty good. Holds it on nice and tight. All right. So this is, should be hot now. So what I do, if you could see, you got like the two, you know, two points here. I kind of start right with the points. And you can see this is going to start happening quick. Doesn't take much. So I'm going to go around the top, nice and easy, just getting it around. All right. Nice and tight. Okay, so that'll do that. And then I'm just going to kind of work down this little edge. You can see it's tightening right up. Alright, work around. Kind of tighten it up around the top. Work down this edge. Go about halfway, keeping my fingers out of there because this thing does get hot. You know, don't. You want to be careful, you don't want to like touch the place because this will melt right up as soon as it gets touched by the tip or something like that. You know, I've ruined a couple, definitely. Uh, actually, you can see I kind of left it a little long. I will fix that. Alright, once I get the top done. I'll flip it over. Alright, that's it. So now you got a nice freshly wrapped, alright, battery. Alright, so I'm just going to try to fix this a little bit because just a little long on the top. I just don't want nothing sticking up. So I'm just going to take a nice sharp knife and just kind of anything sticking up, just kind of trim it off. This one's not the prettiest one. But you get the idea. Alright, that'll do. That'll serve its purpose. So now, when you stick this guy in, okay, so you're good to go. Now all you gotta do, pull it right from the bottom. Right out from the bottom, every time, never gonna get stuck. Alright? And so far, I haven't had a problem with any of my batteries. I got them all pretty much done like this. So, you know, the wrapping doesn't get stuck on anything. Now, if you're sticking them into like a tube, something, you know, something like this, you got to stick them down in, you know, it's not going to tear up your wrapper. So it's probably better that it wraps around this way, you know, it's not touching the sides or anything like that. But, you know, this is perfect for any of those keystone trays or any of the trays that have these little... These little tabs on here that just grab your batteries and tear them all up. Okay. Cheap little fix. So now the one last thing that I do. Alright. Got this little thing sitting here. I got a little label maker. Alright. And I just put, you know, what it is. This was an LG HE4. Alright. This way I know what I got. That's it. Done deal. Alright, hope that helps. See you in the next one.